Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture we are going to talk about T cell in a detail. Means we are going to talk about T cell biology. T cell biology. Now this is actually the first video lecture which are regarded to T cell. And in this first video lecture, we are going to talk about the overview of the T cell. Overview. Or the summary or the big picture of the T cell in a detail. And then inshallah in the step by step video lecture, then we will explain the T cell, their types, activation, differentiation, cytokines release from the T cells and each and everything which are related to T cell in a detail. But this is the first video and in this first video we lecture we are just going to talk about the T-cell biology. As I already tell you now, let me once again tell you that T-cell biology means whenever we are going to talk about T-cell in a detail, the function of the T-cell, the structure of the T-cell, the types of the T-cell, T-cell activation and each and everything, then we call it T-cell biology. Okay. So, remember <coughs> T-cell is actually it involves in adoptive amino system system as all of you better know adaptive amino system and innate amino system okay i already explained it that what is innate and adaptive amino system if you missed that video lecture you can go back to my channel and watch about adaptive and innate amino system but let me once again tell you a little bit innate amino system are those amino system which are activated against every microbes and adaptive amino system are those amino system which are activated against a specific microbes or against a specific pathogen okay now as I talk that T cell is the type of adaptive immune system or it involved in adaptive immune system. It means that it is specific cells against the microbes. Okay. Normally what actually happens inside the body? Inside the body when the antigen presenting cell or when any cell of the body are infected or when any cell of the body may engulf the pathogen. Then what happens? Let's suppose... This is the cell of the human body and let's suppose they contact with the antigen. It could be a microbes, it could be a virus, it could be LG, fungi, any kind of microbes. So when our immune cell contact, immune cell or any body cell, okay, this is any body of the cell. Especially, let's suppose, immune cell of the body. When it contact with the microbes, it could be any kind of the microbes. Then what happened? This cell then secrete a kinds of cytokines. Inshallah, we will talk the cytokines. I already explained the cytokines in detail. You can go back and watch. But uh, we we are going to talk about the cytokines which are released from the T cell in a detail. And now they will secrete a kind of cytokine that will attract the T cell. Now when the, once the T cell are attracted to that specific area. Then what happened? The T cell will just recognize their receptor. So let's suppose this is the T cell. Now this is the receptor of the uh, let's suppose antigen presenting cell and this is the receptor of uh, T cell. So what happened? At the mid of this area there will be the antigen as we can see. So this cell will you know digested the microbes and after that they will showcase or they will express the antigen piece or fragment to the rest of the cell supposed to the T cell then the T cell will come and they will you know recognize this antigen or peptides after they recognize this peptides so then they will secrete as different kinds of interleukins or cytokines from their cell body and each uh, cytokines will be responsible for the activation of the other cell. Let's suppose if this cell is infected with the uh, viruses, so then this cell will uh, they will secrete a kind of uh, interleukins uh, due to which a cytotoxic T lymphocyte will activate it. If this is infected with any other uh, microbes, for example bacteria, so then they will activate uh, the macrophages. 
if it is uh, you know infected with the uh, algae or microbes or other kind of uh, you know um, uh, microbes so then this cell will activate the antibody b cell or other uh, complement system they will activate so different kinds of immune system will be activated not different kind but means at each of the time one of the immune system or one of the system will be activated okay so this is a little bit concept behind the t cell in the next video we are also going to talk about now what actually we are going to talk about in t cell biology in t cell biology we are going to talk about uh, T cell receptor, or in short form we can say TCR. Okay, so inshallah in the next video we are going to talk about T cell receptor. Remember, there are different types of the T cell, and each types of the T cell have different kinds of T cell receptor. So we are going to talk about T cell receptor and their important role in immune system. We'll be talking inshallah in the next video. Then after that we are going to talk about types of t cells okay there are different types of the t cell okay for example we have you know a uh, helper t cell we have uh, cyto toxic T cell we have natural killer T cell and we have also follicular T cell as well follicular T cell okay now if we talked about helper T cells so remember guys helper T cell have their own types there are also some other types of the helper T cell for example we have helper t cell 1217 okay and also we have uh, but now these are the important although there are some other helper t cell as well but these are the most important helper t cell so remember guys in types of the t cell we are going to talk about and we are going to explain each types in a detail we are going to talk about helper t cell we are going in helper t cell we are going to talk about helper t cell 1 helper t cell 2 helper t cell 17 what are their function what kind of cytokine they will secrete each and everything in a detail we are going to talk about cytotoxic t cell their function their activation and each and everything in a detail and after that then we are going to talk about natural killer t cell follicular t cell as well we are going to talk about their function uh, structure their uh, you know cytokines released from them each and everything in a detail now after the types of t cell then we are going to talk about uh, t cell activation and their differentiation Creation. okay what does it mean it means that how the t-cell will be activated once the microbes get internalized inside the body then what happened after that the t-cell be activated but how it will activate it this is the question and once it activated then how it will be differentiated this is another question we'll be talking in inshallah each and everything in a detail after that then we, we are going to talk about t-cell maturation and develop mint okay and after that we are going to talk about t cell maturation and development it means uh, that from where the t cell are originated from where the t cell are developed if you guys remember we already talked about that that it is actually developed inside the bone marrow and after it developed then from where it will be mature you know maturation is also important for the t-cell means once the t-cell is developed then how it will train for the disease or for the microbes means how they will kill the microbes definitely it will require some kinds of you know some kinds of knowledge these t-cells required so these knowledge and these everything so for the t-cell due to which they will kill the microbes due to which they will recognize the cell due to which they will do their function but how 
for that purpose they, these cells will get mature and from where it will be mature we, will, we are going to talk about each and everything in a detail in the next video lecture okay after that then we are going to talk about cytokines of the T cell okay Remember guys, there are different kinds of cytokines which are released from helper T cell 1, helper T cell 2, helper T cell 17, cytotoxic T lymphocytes, follicular T cells, natural killer T cells and each cytokines have different kinds of function. So we are not only going to talk about the cytokines which are released from the T cell and their function on other immune cells. We are also going to talk about the cytokines which are released from the other cell and their function on the T cell. We are also going to talk about that phenomenon as well. Because this is the question of one of my subscribers that told me that what kind of the cytokines have function on the T cell. So we are also going to talk about uh, these uh, you know, things in a detail. Moreover, we are also going to talk about you know, T cell function. T cell biological function logical function in immune system system okay so each and everything we are going to talk about inside uh, the T cell biology in a detail okay first of all let me tell you the overview that what actually happened so remember this is just a diagrammatically presentation of the T cell explanation but not in a detail. Remember guys let's suppose when any kind of the microbes get in internalized inside the body. So let's suppose this is the microbes it get internalized inside the body of the human body or any uh, you know any organism body. After that uh, they will you know intact or they will you know interact or contact with this cell of the body let's suppose this is the antigen presenting cell of the body once they you know contact with that so antigen presenting cell will engulf it so once it engulfed you know once the microbes are engulfed after that you know the antigen presenting cell will break down it and they will you know uh, make the, the pieces of this microbes and after that they will present these microbe species to their receptor or to their receptor which we call that MHC molecule and once as you can see now this red one represents the piece of each microbes once they represent it remember these antigen presenting cell or any kind of the body cells they will present the antigen to the rest of the amino cells especially they will present the, uh, the as we are going to talk about the T cell in detail so that's why let's suppose they will present this antigen to the T cell especially helper T cell or CD4 T cell T cell, cytotoxic T lymphocyte as well also, and helper T cell also. But let's suppose they will present their uh, antigen or piece of the antigen to the T cell. Once the T cell will come closer, they will release a kinds of cytokines due to which you know the T cell will activate it. We will talk to each cytokine in detail. So once the cytokine is released, so then the T cell will get activated and will contact with this antigen presenting cell or any body cell which are infected or which engulf the microbes so once they you know interact or contact with this cell so then they will recognize the antigen piece of that one cell which present okay so the cell which present the antigen piece so this helper T cell will also recognize it so once they recognize it so then this helper T cell will decide that which kind of system will be activated uh, remember if this microbes is let's suppose virus so then they will decide to activate the cytotoxic T lymphocyte why because cytotoxic T lymphocyte have a kinds of uh, you know uh, chemicals which we call perforin and granzym due to which they will kill this one cell why they kill it's the part of the body because it killed this one cell if this cell isn't kill remember if this cell doesn't kill let's suppose so then what happened they will secrete each viruses and each virus will infect the other cell then uh, uh, each viruses are secreted from the other cell and then they will infect the other cell and the process will be going on and you know numerous cells will be infected so that's where to prevent that phenomenon the cytotoxic T cell will activate it and to prevent the rest of the cell infection okay so that's why they should kill this one cell but 
the cytotoxic T lymphocyte will be activated at that time when this cell is infected with the viruses. This is very important. If they recognize the peptide of the bacteria, then what ha actually happens, they will secrete a kind of interleukins uh, due to which complement system will activate it. Now, complement system means a kind of uh, different kinds of proteins due to which it will, you know, bind to the bacterial cell or any kind of the microbes. Uh, and once it binds it, so then they will create a kind of holes in the bacteria cell and the bacteria cell will die. I already explained the complement system in a detail. You can go back and watch the complement system. Sometimes they will secrete a kind of interleukin due to which uh, the, uh, you know, macrophages will get activated. Macrophages will come and they will engulf it. Sometimes they will activate, uh, you know, secrete a kinds of interleukins. Inshallah, we will explain that what kind of interleukins. They will secrete some kind, uh, different kinds of interleukins due to which B cells will activate it, let's suppose. So let's suppose this is the B cell. So once the B cell is activated, so then B cell will secrete a kinds of interleukin. They will secrete a kind of interleukin for their self. And once they will secrete interleukin, so the each interleukin will affect on the same cell. This is called autocrine function. Okay. So once they will, you know, secrete interleukin on their own uh, cells, so then these cells will be activated and converted into the plasma cells. So let's suppose this is the plasma cell. And all of you better know plasma cells is what actually plasma cell is actually the antibody producing factory. So after that, these cells will produce a kind of antibody as you can see, which are specifics to that microbes. And sometimes this antibody will kill these microbes alone. And sometimes this antibody will activate the macrophages. So this is all about the things that are happening and this is all the cell interaction with the helper T cell and cytokines and everything are going on. Okay, So that's how the T cells will get activated and performing their function inside the immune system. So this is not the detail but this is somehow the T cell that are mainly involved in the immune system. Inshallah, in the next video lecture, we are going to talk about the T-cell receptor in a detail. I hope you will get idea about the T-cell biology summary in their overview in a detail. But if still you have any kind of question in your mind, you can write your request in, in, in the comment. Inshallah, I will try my best to give you answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, share this video, and also subscribe the channel. And please stay tuned because in the next video, we are going to talk about T-cell receptor in a detail. Thank you so much for watching this one video.